The good, the bad, and the ugly. What was the good, bad, and ugly for you this week, huh? Man, you know, uh, the good, DK Metcalf. Yeah? Man, I saw DK Metcalf be a number one receiver. Oh, that's, yeah, that's huge for that young buck. I mean, it wasn't, uh, I don't think he caught that, he caught about four passes, 400 something yards, but he did what, he took the ball from a DB, took them, just manhandled him, took the ball away, and then the guy was on the side of him, then he sprinted away from him. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. and then, uh, Man, then, uh that's crazy. another pass, he, he went across he the middle. He didn't catch a BK. Yeah, caught it. He got hit. Hell on. I mean, I'm just saying he was just a number one receiver that's playing like a number one receiver. Uh, that's and that was watch. good for me because I just turned off of all oh, that yeah. on the ground. <laughs> Yeah, CD Lamb. You know, that CD Lamb reference. If you don't know what that was, right and uh, there. and the bad. I hate to hop on the Cowboys, but hey, the he's bad ugly out the, there too now. The, the, the bad was the Cowboys defense. Oh my God! Is some uglier than that out there? I, 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 that's bad, bad. I said okay, that, that's no, bad. okay, yeah, yeah, you yeah. Know, that that defense was bad. Yes, man. it was. They, like I said, like they couldn't stop Dishwater from going out to sink. <laughs> <laughs> it's a stopper right there. It's a stopper. You not not stopper. on that squad. Hey, hey, you got a stopper and a dish tile. <laughs> you can even go country style and ball the dish tile up in there. And put yeah, that top. yeah. Or you can put it. They couldn't do either. Nothing. So that defense Nothing. was bad, bad, yeah. bad. bad. And, and what's your ugly for the week, huh? Back to the Cowboys. Oh, boy. Man, the ugly was CD. That was Ooh. ugly. That on the ground kicking like a little girl, man, like a child. Last time I seen that, I think I was in um, Kroger, and this lady who told her daughter, you can't have no can, the baby fell on the ground. So did some, just like CD did. Yeah. I mean, come on, CD. I understand you frustrated, but first off, you play great, and you can show your frustration. Yeah. But when you play an average... You can't show your frustrations like that. Yeah, you can't. You know, you and, can't, that's, and that's ugly. Yeah, and that's real ugly. So, you know, that was the ugly for me. And I hate to, because last week the Cowboys was the bad and the ugly. Until they play better, they probably going to be the bad Man, and the ugly. Yeah. I mean, you know. And, Man, and to see a number for good one reason. receiver, that good was, I turned over there and I called. I said, that's a number one receiver player. Like, yeah. You know, we, going hard. Yeah. Going hard. Yeah. I'm gonna no, say I that. love that. I yeah. love that. So, uh, for me. Uh, the good uh, had to be um, Andy Dalton. Who expected Andy Dalton to go out there and beat the Raiders this week? That's a former Cowboys oh, yeah. backup, by the way. Oh, yeah. Oh, Dak yeah, Prescott backup out there winning games. You yeah. know? Oh, yeah. Uh, but who – who? I don't know anybody that expected the Carolina Panthers to win that game after the start that Bryce Young's had where they have looked atrocious. There's only one person that I could think that he might have thought he was going to win. Andy Dalton. Cole McCoy. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> no, I'm just teasing. Jason Garrett no. might. Hey, because Andy Dalton and Cole McCoy is almost the same guy to me. Man, you I think mean, so? You know, I mean, you know, I'm just saying. Yeah. They yeah. had great college careers and yeah. they kind of, you know, been oh, yeah. going around career backups. And, and and guess what? Cole McCoy came in and won some games, too. Oh, absolutely he did. So that's why I said Cole McCoy. Absolutely right. he did, I'm just man. On that. Cole I knew he had so. more of a chance than everybody <laughs> else knew he had. No doubt. No doubt. Yeah. Uh, so that that's got to be my good, uh, my 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 bad. It's got to be the Jacksonville Jaguars and Trevor Lawrence, man. Trevor Lawrence, you also got paid them big bucks. Uh, you also got that two hundred million dollar deal this offseason, didn't he? Yeah, I think he did. Yeah, and uh, you're zero and three right now. You know, so that ain't what they paid for. You know, all the excuses, all the talk, all the other. It's out the window, bro. It's time for you to put them up or put put them up put, and shut up, bro. Put up and shut up, man. Like straight up, you know. Uh, Josh Allen showed you what it really is. You know, I think they came out the same year in the draft or yeah. close to it, right? And uh, they was talking a lot more about Trevor Lawrence than they were about, than they were about Josh Allen. Yeah, because so, Josh Allen is from North Dakota. Yeah, yeah, he's from yeah, a smaller yeah, college. Yeah, he was a smaller school. Yeah. Right, so Josh Allen, you know, he, he's balling Trevor and – You're not. You're not, bro. You know, it's about you got plenty of weapons around you, right? You got a coach that you say you like now, now that uh, – what's his face that was up down there messing him up from Ohio State? Uh – Florida, Urban Meyer. Yeah, yeah. Now yeah. that Urban Meyer is no longer down there, which you, you you got Doug Peterson. There's the shown he knows how to win a Super Bowl, right? So uh, you got no excuses at this point, man. It's your second year with Doug. Y'all should know each other. He should know you a lot better. So you know, Trevor Lawrence, you're my bad for the week, and the ugly of the week. It's got to be Dak Prescott. 
You know, I'm a harp on CD. Yeah. But not CD Lamb. All them C and D throws you had like, this past weekend, bro. I didn't see any other quarterback, starting quarterback, especially making the money that you're making, look so poorly. Missing Zeke on a third and seven wide open on a flat. I don't know one pass you threw accurately in that last game. Not one, bro. So, yeah, that's my ugly, man. And I, It's been ugly. It's been ugly for the past seven years as I'm concerned, and I can't believe the Cowboys signed up for FOMO. What are y'all thinking about, man? You know what? They start, you know why they signed up for more? Why is that? Guess who leading the league in passing yards? No, no, no. Guess. Dak. <laughs> Dak. One and two. All them shallow yards. Y'all, y'all been, y'all been, y'all been freaking crucifying me for saying he got shallow yards and throwing all these yards when they don't count, when they don't matter. You know what I'm saying? He's a, he's a uh, uh, analytics god doggone king. Right, y'all been y'all been saying everything about me when I come out here and call it for what it is. One day y'all gonna wake up and see what I've been saying for the past. Y'all just slow. You know, that's why I got an innovative tech company. Right? It's my job to see into the future. And I already saw this dude right here. Wasn't it? Ain't been it since he been here. You know? Y'all looking at the, the numbers and all the other stuff after the game. I'm looking at the plays. I'm looking at the fundamentals. I'm looking at the lack thereof. Seven, eight years deep into the game, this dude still ain't got it. But I'm gonna get off deck, man. Hey, <laughs> if you want to know exactly what I'm talking about, come holler at me. I tell you exactly what I'm talking about, man. It ain't that hard to see. 